Whenever I go on a Champions League run in Park to Prem, I desperately hope we don't get drawn against another England team. And another thing that I hope for is I don't get drawn against the reigning champions. It's two for two today. We got Man City. Yeah. Yeah, I'm annoyed too. And if you were wondering, in this universe, Man City have actually won the Champions League a fair few times. In fact, they've won it twice in the last three years. They're going to want to win it again. If we want to go further... Yeah, we, we've got to make it through against them in today's quarterfinal. Today is episode number 99 of Park to Prem. We're taking on Zinedine Zidane's Manchester City team. How are we going to get on? We'll find out right after the intro. Yes, folks, how is it going? Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I think I'm just about over my sickness, which is really annoying. You know, it's been lingering a little bit. It's all clear. I'm ready. I'm repaired. I'm raring to go. We have slipped up since you were last here. Uh, we've played four games in all competitions. Now, to be fair, the first of those games was against Arsenal. This result was a good one. This result really picked up my mood. A 3-1 win. It was emphatic. Sam Fay with two. Misiak with a goal. We dominated the game as the away team, which, considering Arsenal are our big rivals at the top of the league, they're in second, we're in first. To beat them in the FA Cup was great. Sadly, in the next round, uh, we've been drawn against Wolves. Now, I have got a weird book here in Football Manager, right? So, in the FA Cup, I've been drawn to play Wolves, and we are set to play them, as you can see here, on the 21st of April. But you might have noticed here on the competition screen, under the FA Cup section, it says we're playing them in the Premier League. This is a, it's in the FA Cup column, it's an FA Cup game, and in fact, when I go to this kind of fixture screen here, it also lists that game that is the FA Cup game as a Premier League game too, and in fact, it shows all the Premier League rules on the right. We are playing Wolves twice in the space of three days. Football managers got confused, and therefore, it's also confusing me. Anyway, that's a thing for tomorrow. We don't need to worry about that today. Those matches, both after Man City's double header. So I was feeling really, really good about the Arsenal result. We had three league games coming up, and a youth intake, which has come and gone and is very underwhelming. Uh, look, there is one good player here, Callum McMullen. He might be good. He probably won't be good. Um, he's not a bad little player, to be fair. He's very well-rounded. You know, 10 years ago, he would have been our star player. I would have been loving life. But sadly, obviously, we have moved on from those times. Maybe he can develop. We'll keep a close eye on him. He is a little bit injury-prone, which is a bit scary. But in terms of youth intakes, considering I've just hired John Sweeney, because I thought he'd be the best head of youth development in the world, given his attributes and also his perfectionist personality, it's safe to say that this year's batch, disappointing. Are you allowed to call a youth intake a batch? Is it a batch of a youth intake? It almost sounds like I'm running some kind of industrial farm. I mean, we can't, we kind of are as football manager. Anyway, like I mentioned, following on from that Arsenal result, we had three games in the Premier League. The first against Southampton, 5-0 win, really good result. I think it says a lot about the game when we win 5-0 and their goalkeeper still gets the highest rating on their team. Sam Faye with a hat-trick, Rojas with two goals as well. Sadly, Rojas today, not going to be available for the first leg, and also very unlikely to be available for the second leg. He got injured on international duty following the next game that we had. And that next game was this one here against Aston Villa. I did opt to rotate the team in this game. It's a game when you look at the scoreline, you think... Well, that's two points dropped, isn't it? You've, you've drawn there, Jack, against a team you should be beating. And when you look at the match momentum, I think we were the better team. However, I'm going to choose to find the positive in this world and consider it a point rescued because Faye and Rojas scored in the 94th and 97th minute here. We did rotate the team a little bit, not that that excuse is slipping up. Aston Villa, currently an eighth. Maybe a little bit guilty of underestimating them. So six goals in that previous game. We went away, had an international break. Rojas got injured. We came back. 10-goal thriller against Crystal Palace. Yeah, we scored early in this game. They bounced back with two. Then we fought back a bit. They fought back a bit. I think we were 3-2 down at one point, And then we scored three unanswered goals to ultimately get the win. Or rather, four unanswered goals. I can't count. Either way, we won. And that rather rugby town performance puts us in pole position in the Premier League. We are currently top. We have a game in hand on the teams trailing us, of which Arsenal are our closest rivals. They're one point behind us. Just as a little reminder, Arsenal have got an extremely difficult run of games coming up. They've got Chelsea, Liverpool, ourselves in just over two weeks' time, Tottenham to take on two, 
And, well, they are tricky games. We have also got to do all those games ourselves. In fact, ours is worse. We don't have Tottenham to play. We have Manchester United at the end of the year. Yeah, end of the month, end of the season. Arsenal in second, Liverpool in fifth, Manchester United in sixth, Chelsea in third. Ideally, in the upcoming two games against Blackburn and Wolves, we get a couple more wins to keep a bit of a gap because there's seven games left. A lot is going to happen, I think. We've got difficult matches. And of course, as well as the Premier League, the minor distraction of the knockouts of the Champions League, which is what we are back for today. We are heading to the City of Manchester Stadium for the first leg. Of course, like I mentioned, Man City, very well established in this universe. Erlen Haaland, he still exists. He's still a thing, uh, just as a reminder, in this universe, Norway won a World Cup because of him. And given the fact that Man City are pretty much out of the title fight down in fourth, they're going to want to play party pooper here. They're going to be putting all their eggs, I imagine, into the Champions League basket. I'm going to hope that we can steal the basket with the eggs in and win today. So that task is going to be made a little trickier because Rojas is out injured. Elsewhere, the only other injury, Murphy and Goma. And Goma only has one year left on his current contract, not been able to renew it because we still have no wage budget. I have just asked actually before hitting start record for the board to give me more wage budget. Maybe they'll give me it. Otherwise, well, I'm going to hope that when we eventually secure Champions League football for next year, the wage budget jumps up a little bit because it is problematic. One player whose contract was running out at the end of next year that I have managed to renew is Michael Bolton. Of course, he was very unhappy for a period of time at the club, was looking to maybe move on. He signed a new deal. It's on £90,000 a week. I couldn't offer him the deal myself. I had to instruct the director of football to negotiate the deal for me. Never used that button before, probably will never use it again, but it meant that the director of football could offer money that I couldn't. I thought I'd found some kind of loophole where I could just get the director of football to spend money we didn't have. I went and asked him to do the same with Ngoma. It didn't work. But you know what? If there was one player to get on a new deal of the players with contracts expiring in the next 18 months, yeah, I'm going to say it now. Bolton, higher priority than Mascara and Ngoma. Anyway, I did manage to rest up the players ahead of this game. We did rotate the team for the game where we won 6-4 against Crystal Palace. Obviously, we are without Rojas today, so Kanate is going to come up top and hopefully do the business for us. Three goals in the Champions League so far for him. I would love him to keep that going here. The rest of the team remains at full strength. You may notice a man dropped. Yes, Mark Anderson, I've made the decision to drop. He's unhappy at the moment because he wants a new contract. I can't give him a new contract. And to make things worse, I think his reputation's jumped up because he won the next gen award. Yeah, he, he won the next gen award this year, which is great. Alex finished second. But off the back of that, he thinks he's Bertie Big Balls and he deserves the big bucks. And frankly, he doesn't. So yeah, it, it, he's not going to get them. His actual performances have picked up a little bit lately, but as we discussed last episode, Riviere has just been a better performer in the deep line playmaker kind of role within our system. And it's for that reason, I'm going with Fabian in this one here. I feel like his defensive ability is probably going to be useful against City. Okay, this is going to be a tricky game. Away from home for the first leg, Jorgensen in goal, Rico Lewis at right back, uh, Gvardiol's in their team, um, they've got uh, Kulijevic, remember the guy who I wanted to sign? I'm like Arsene Wenger. You know when Arsene Wenger recently retired? I say recently, when he had recently retired from Arsenal, and he kind of was like, oh, I wanted to sign this player and that player. I feel like I'm like that about Kovaljevic. I, I wanted him. If I'd signed him, I'd be more successful than we already are. It's got the feeling of a big night, hasn't it? The Champions League tarpaulin. It's out. I assume the anthem's playing at this point for copyright reasons and just my own security. We don't play the music for the Champions League, but we're all imagining it. And now we're going to imagine a rugby town opening goal to get the dream start. Why are they on the attack? Erlen Haaland scored in five minutes. Can we have a flag raised? Can we have a, can I can I have an offside? Can we give an offside, please, Mr. VAR? I do have a direct line to the booth. They've not listened to me. They've hung up. And well, we've that's mm, it's a bit self-inflicted, isn't it? It's a throw-in that's gone straight to them. It's Jeremy Pino to Erlen Haaland, and it's one nil. It's one nil. Mm, less than ideal. Right, we're a goal down after less than 10 minutes. Not ideal, especially away from home, but we're not going to let that rock us just yet. Gvardiol with the ball at the back for Man City. Of course, we played them a fair few times already this year, and on previous occasions, we have managed to get the odd result against them. We're definitely capable of knocking them out of this competition, even if they are the reigning champions. However, 
Well, based on what I'm seeing in the early stages here, maybe we need to be a little bit worried. They've got the ball again here. Paul Toe or Pe Polito, Pe Polito, I don't know. Just making up a pronunciation for this guy's name. The right left back for them is brought it forward. It's now over to Rico Lewis, who could get to the byline. Erlen Haaland's in the middle. It's half cleared away, but only as far away as the guy's name. I definitely can't say. Pale Toe, Haaland, Haddad makes a save. The ball is just not away from danger, though. Can we get the ball away? Okay, breathe, everyone. You know what? I think it's time to get shouty, shouty early on here. I need to demand more shout immediately. 15 minutes in, I've demanded more, and they're still on the attack. Jeremy Pino hits the woodwork. <sighs> okay, okay. I want to pretend I'm fine. I'm really not. They've still got a corner here. We know that they've got a big bloke called Erlen Haaland, who's quite good in football manager to aim for. They're going to go to the back post, and I knew what was going to happen. You knew what was going to happen. It's 2 0. I hate Erlen Haaland and football manager. I just hate him. Like, you think he's going to retire, but he just goes on forever. You know, when I started Parts of Prem, I think, ah, he'll be retired. He'll have gone to La Liga or something by the time I'm in the Prem. No, he's ruining my Champions League life. I mean, to be fair, we have been second best in this game so far. I tried some tough love earlier. I'm going to try and encourage the players here. But it's safe to say the opening 35 minutes of this game have not gone to plan. They've got another corner. They've got. Uh, can we guess what's going to happen? I'm going to guess. Okay, it's not. It's not even. It's not even Highland that scored. Alex Eve has scored. It's three 0 you know, last year in the Europa League, there was like first legs where I'd win by three goals and go, we'll just we'll just skip that game. You know, we won't do the second leg. Can I do that when I'm losing 3-0? I don't think I can. I want to believe a comeback could happen. We've got a mountain to climb. I want to get in at half time and throw a water bottle. I feel like that is the proportional response to what I've seen here. What was that? Furious, lost confidence. Lost confidence, you cowards. I'll tell them I've got faith in them. Look at that, that's worked. Now they're all happy. Football manager's morale system, bizarre. We did actually end the half. Okay. We, we had a little little shift in momentum before the break. If that hadn't have happened, I probably would have been making some subs at halftime. Maybe I'm going to regret not making some subs at halftime because they have still got the ball here. And to Fatty, to Weidreigo, to Haaland. Their players are so good. It's four. It's four and I'm in physical pain. I don't know why I'm staring at the floor. There's no answers down there. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You know, it's a big episode when the standing up desk comes out. Last time I did a standing up desk episode, someone was like, oh, you know, it's serious. I was bloody serious going into this. I feel like I want to take a seat and just talk about my problems with someone. What happened? There's a kickoff highlight. If they get a fifth, if they, if they get a fifth, am I allowed to just quit the video? Can we just end the video? Can I just, can I just go home? You know, we'll just... Little, little subtitle of what happened in the second leg. You know, worked the space, lost the second leg, 2-0. Haaland's for it. What are we doing? What? I have to upload this to the internet. And frankly, this is embarrassing. It is 30th of the season. It's Erling Haaland. Is that his fourth of the game? I've lost count. It's 5-0. It's, it's self-inflicted as well. Who was it who did the back pass tear? Was it che It was Chelik. It was literally the man I spent £95 million on. I'm I'm so angry. I'm so I don't, I'm not for words. I mean, to be fair, they've had six shots and five of them have gone in. I'll shout them man more, but at this point, I just feel like there's a personnel issue. Schumacher, you can go in goal. Hadad's been useless. Chelik's on a six point one. We're throwing him under the bus. Uh, you know what, Marky Anderson, centre attacking mid today. Let's see how you get on. Sam Fay, you've been awful. Uh, I'm going to bring in a reco. Do I want to make more? Do I just make all my subs now? Lee Min, you've been Garbo on a 6.2. All the players you need to play well. I'm looking at the wing backs. I'm looking at the goalkeeper. I'm looking at pissing Chelik. They've all just gone to the races. No, that's not the phrase, is it? What's the phrase? They've all just gone to the pub. They've, I don't know what they're, they've... They're not at the football match. That's all I know. Right, five changes made in the 55th minute. The game's lost. I, you know, I don't want to be defeatist here. Even if we were to score one, I'd, I have to come back for the second leg because, you know, anything can happen. It's football, but we've we've lost 5-0. Haaland's on a 10.0. We've given him the ball repeatedly. I mean, at least, at least Schumacher's not conceded yet. I mean, that's... <laughs> 
I love the fact I've subbed the goalkeeper. I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. If we get one goal back and keep a clean sheet, I might have to start Schumacher in the next game. Misiak, NDIA, there's options in the middle. NDIA, I think, is wearing the captain's armband. Or is that the hoop design on our shirt? I can't tell. Either way, NDIA into the middle. Can we get it in? Misiak scores. It's 5-1. We're, we're losing the second half 2-1. It's slightly respectable. Slightly. I, uh, I, you know what? We'll watch the replay. I was thinking about just, you know, editing it out, but I feel like we should save this. It might be the one time we see the ball go in the back of the net for us. At least Misiak's still good. I mean, it goes without saying, when you concede five to Man City, you're going to be in trouble. When Erlen Haaland is gifted the ball repeatedly, you're going to be in trouble. There's three minutes of added time. I mean, since I've made all the subs, we've won 1-0. So should we just divide the game in half? We'll call it 5-0 to them in the first, 1-0 to us in the second. I mean, it's f four goals to turn around in the second leg. If we do it, I don't know what I'd do. I think I'd order pizza and just celebrate and have a party. Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? Let's be real. I mean, the only crumb of comfort really here for us is the fact that my midweek league game is against Blackburn, who are bottom. So this is a game where I feel confident playing the B team in and kind of they should just be able to do the job. Blackburn, 16 points so far this year. They are awful. I'm not even going to worry about that game. We're coming back for the second leg against Man City. I'm going to rest up the players, rotate things around. In eight days... We play for pride. If we come back here, biblical scenes, it's probably not going to happen. But on the off chance it does happen, you should stick around. Don't skip to the end of the video to find out if I'm still sad or not. Stick with me. We're going to do it live. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If that first game against Man City was stressful and just demoralizing, this game very nearly was too. The Blackburn game midweek, bottom of the table, chose to rotate the team, had to bring on the big guns. And I really didn't want to do it, but we did it. Chelik scored 74th minute look at the stats for this game how did it finish 1-0 had i not won this game i i actually don't know what i would have done Cr cried a lot and if you were wondering their goalkeeper arthur aconquo he is a goalkeeper he is related to brian aconquo once upon a time of rugby town hall of fame now playing in nigeria uh interesting career turn for this guy feel like we did quite well to get 140,000 pounds for him really so that result there for us was fantastic. Sadly, however, Arsenal also managed to win at home against Chelsea. So they are still within a point. And, uh, well, a game where I was hoping they'd slip up, they've not slipped up in. Anyway, we are back for this second leg against Man City. Truthfully, I don't really know why I've come back for this game. But in case something happens, I've got to be here for it. You can see here, Roger Rojo has still coming back from injury. Failed a fitness test, but we'll just bluff that he's fit by putting him on the bench. Uh, Kanate is going to be sticking it out up top. Riviera holds down his spot as well, although, to be honest, based on what we've seen in that last game, I'm not sure entirely why. I'm going to make one change for this game. Schumacher's going in goal over her dad. We start 5-1 down. Ultimately, we need a miracle. If we win this second leg, I will take that as a small win, you know, irrespective of the aggregate result. But frankly... Well, what is there to say? We got battered in the first leg, embarrassed. It's the first time that anything like that has happened in recent years at Rugby Town. I, it was like a throwback to being a newly promoted Premier League side again, except it was the Champions League quarterfinal. We're being embarrassed in front of everyone. Today, we're playing for pride. Today, we've still got to do with Erling Haaland. Let's see what we do. Okay, they've got to throw in on the far side. I mean, if they win this leg 5-1 as well, do I just retire as a manager at that point? Is it just retirement worthy? You know, it's one thing to get battered away from home. That can happen on occasion. You know, a game can get away from you. It's fo that's football. But at home, back-to-back -back games against the same team, especially a team that we know we're capable of beating on our day, like that would be humiliating. Kovjevic has got... Should we just end the episode now? Should we just... I could have signed him. I mean, I'm looking for a positive. Uh, I've got hair in my eye. That's not a positive. We've lasted a minute longer this time. You know, small gains. If you're in a relationship, that's a big gain, isn't it? An extra minute. Come on, let's go. I like the way I've said, come on, let's go there, to hype myself up to the fact we're losing 6-1. Yeah, my head's gone. My head has gone today. I'm struggling, honestly, to bring myself to commentate what's happening on screen. Bolton to the byline, whips in, Misiak heads over. It was a chance. It was a shot. It wasn't on target, but, you know, we'll take that. First shot of the game. Yeah, okay. For a second of all, the game wasn't going to count it. We're on the board. I mean, at least we can focus on the Premier League to end the season, I guess. You know, we can try and avoid bottling the table. 
Imagine if I bottle it for a second year in a row. I say, we didn't bottle it last year, did we? We didn't. We lost it on goal difference and we won like 4-0. It wasn't a bottling, but... Oh, I don't know. I don't, my head's, head's gone, everyone. Head's gone. It's Monday. I've got a week to more episodes to record. I, I don't know how to feel Haaland through again. Is he going to score? He's hit the woodwork. He's hit the woodwork. He is human. Jeremy Pino's over a corner. What the dickens is happening here? Schumacher punches it away. Great save by him. I mean, in this game, they've scored one banger. It's not like we've been torn open or given them... The, is that, does that count as a banger? It might be offside. I think that counts as a banger. It's gone into the top corner off the post. It's not the keeper's fault. I want to sit here and be like, VAR, bail us out. Do me a favour. It's not going to do me... 7-1. 7! One. Seven, seven! I feel like, you know, the guy on Strictly Come Dancing. I can't... 7! I've never watched Strictly Come Dancing in about the last 10 years. No idea if they still even have scoring on the show. It's 7-1. I'm talking about Strictly Come Dancing, which are as if you've never seen... I think it's called Dancing with the Stars in America. I don't know why I'm explaining any of this. My, my head's gone. Head's gone. Get me out of here. You know, I had a lovely weekend. I went to the European Pokemon Championships. You know, I went, went to the Pokemon Center, got a new shirt, I thought, oh, I'll look cool for the video today. It's all been ruined by Erlen Haaland. Don't even care that he saved our free kick. I just feel sad. Look at the match momentum. We are playing better. If we come back from here, would it be the greatest comeback of all time? I want to say yes, but the reality is, what tactical changes do you make when you need to score six in 45 minutes? Now, there's no tactical changes you can make that are going to make that a remote possibility, are there? I mean, what would you do? Uh, don't mind me. I'm, do I'm, do I'm doing what I think you should do. Uh, Bolton can't play right wing back. Uh, Alex. Alex has been learning to play right wing back. He, he, he can do it, kind of. You know what, NDIA on at left back as well, we're, we're going for it. I said, you know, what do you need to do to get another kind of load of goals? I don't know what you need to do. This is the answer. I hope this is going to work. Imagine being a footballer and hearing your manager at half-time, like he's dragging stuff around on the tactics board going, I hope this is going to work. Sam Faye's got injured. <laughs> I just want to cry. They've got a corner. Is it going to go on Erlen Haaland's head by any chance? Okay, it's, it's, we've got it off his head. That's, you know, not, that's a positive. Anderson, counter-attack. It's a two-on-two. Two. It's a two-on pissing two. Go on, Anderson. There's options in the middle, and by options, there's one. He's not, he's not picked out the option. Now they're on the attack. Why did we commit men to the attack? Why have I gone more attacking? Why, what am I doing to myself here? What, 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 what was I thinking? I don't know what... You know what? When in Rome, when in Manchester, you lose 5-1. Alex to the byline. Can he get it in? Runner up in the next gen award to Misiak. <sighs> it's gone wide. It's, got, it's a chance. It was a chance. You know what? It's been a long time since we've had a good old-fashioned, just a me mental breakdown in it on the channel. It's been a while. Well, don't feel like we've had that many this year in Parts of Prem. You've waited 99 episodes for it, or 100 technically if you include the recruitment episode, which I guess is episode zero. This, this is the 100th video. What a way to mark the occasion. Kanate! Look, the comeback's on. The comeback's on. Let's go. Okay, it's 7-2. I swear to God, if VAR rules this out. Okay, it, it, the comeback's on. I mean, there's 25 minutes and we need five more goals, but comeback's on. You know, we're, we're looking more solid at the back with no defensive mids and just throwing everyone forward. It, it's great. They've brought Guerrero on. They're really rubbing salt in the wound. Harlan's fruit. Harlan's hit the woodwork again. He could have had another hat trick. It, it's, it's absurd. 20 minutes left. It's 2 1 to Man City on the night. It's been a close game. You know, if this was the first leg. I'd be saying, you know what, there's a chance in the second leg. We've not done awfully. Obviously, the context of this result means that it's absolutely meaningless, isn't it? Rico Lewis is getting it in. He floats it in. Guerrero's there. Schumacher has made a save. Hallelujah. Right, now that he's made a save, can we make something happen going forward? Kanate, Misiak. Can he shoot? He can. Okay. Okay. 7-3. We need four goals in 20 minutes. It's, po it's possible. It is possible. I don't know why I've opened the tactics screen here. Like, there's something that I can do that's reliably going to give me a chance of getting anything in this game. I've made all my subs bar one. Who do I even want to bring on here? Chelik's been awful again, by the way. You know what? Chelik, go, pl go play as an extra striker in the middle. You can play as a complete forward on attack. We'll, we'll stick it out with the double attacking midfielders, I think. Um... I mean, what else do you do? Distribute quickly, distribute over the top. You know, we'll go distribute to flanks. Get it to the wing backs. Okay, four goals, 15 minutes, a dream. I'm starting to dream the dream. 
of times gone by. It was that I dreamed a dream of times gone by. It's a, it's a musical. What musical is that? I can't. I don't even know what musical that is. It's a London West End show. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we're on the attack. I'm dreaming a dream. Kanate's dreaming a dream. He's put it in the middle. We've scored again. Score is seven four. And there's 12 minutes left. Why am I believing? You can tell I'm actually not believing because I'm not including the replays of the goals. But now we've got another chance. We've got, we've got another one. Surely not. If we get another, like I genuinely have to start to believe. Areco with the ball in the wide area, plays inside. Is that... A, it could be a penalty. It could... I, if we score this, I actually start to believe there's a chance. And that is an awful situation to be in. We've got a penalty. Who's taking it? Imagine if we just missed this now. Chelik. He balls it up in the first leg to give Erlen Haaland a goal. Can he score here? Oh my god, there's a chance. There's a ch <laughs> What's happening? What is this? Now, granted, we still need two goals <laughs> in the next eight, seven minutes plus added time. That we're on, there's another highlight. I mean, highlights are happening, but the issue is I've got so many men committed forward. Like, all these highlights could just be them scoring with our two defenders but at this point you've got to roll the dice I mean it's worked hasn't it the tactical changes oh my god they nearly scored an absolute banger did the keeper save that did Schumacher get a fingertip maybe they've still got a corner Erling Haaland's taking the corners now they're, they're really taking the Michael aren't they he's whipped in it's headed away Kanate I want to say that'll do it won't really do we need to launch counter attacks from here there's seven minutes left they've got another corner I'm just going to shout encouragement Please, lads. The corner's still being shown. Guerrero's over it this time. It really is tugging on the heartstrings, this match, isn't it? It really is just quite an offensive game. Kanata, if you get there first. Oh, if you got there first, there was a chance. There was half a chance. There's four minutes left. Nothing is happening here. I guess at this point, we just go to very attacking, right? Um, I do have a sub. I mean, what sub do you possibly make here? I'm actually playing quite well. Uh, Sneddon is going to come off. I'm going to bring in Murphy and Goma. Like, <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, everyone, and I'm really, really sorry. Uh, libero. Libero for Huari. Some people think I'm not trying here. I just feel like at this point, just got to roll the dice, haven't you, really? Five minutes of added time. We still need two goals. It's not going to happen, but we've given it a bloody good go. Is it bad that I actually thought it started to be possible when we scored a penalty? We've won the game 4-2. Which is absolutely bizarre, because it doesn't feel like we've won. That's actually quite a good result in isolation. 7-5 on aggregate. It, I mean, that, that kind of sounds okay to me. Compared to what it could have been, that is. So we're out. I mean, we, we've we gone out 7-5. Inter Milan have also gone out 7-5. I wonder what the odds were on back-to-back 7-5 results. I imagine rather slim. I mean, you know what? It's not the result we wanted, but I think I did actually enjoy the second air kick. No, I take it all back. Sam Faye's out for a month, and it's a month where we have some very, very big games. Now, in fact, our next game is in the FA Cup semi-final. I, I can see it here. FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. The game still thinks it's the Premier League on certain screens. It's got very, very confused as football manager, but I can confirm... Wolves at Wembley is at, up next for the semi-final. Don't think I'm going to come back for that just because it really isn't the focus. Instead, tomorrow to end the season, I'm going to do this end of the season live. That's a deal, right? Episode 100, Arsenal, West Brom, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea. We might just finish the season in one sitting. I mean, no, that is the plan. It's the 100th episode. I'll do five matches if it's necessary to end the year or until we wrap up the title. Then after that, we have the FA Cup as its own thing with the season wrap-up if we get to the FA Cup final. Kind of getting ahead of myself. I feel like the commentary today was both awful and actually kind of good at the same time, which, uh, you know, I'll let you be the judge. Was it good? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video today. If you did, whilst you're down there, do leave a like as well. Like I said, next episode is episode number 100. We are going to finish the league season, starting with the Arsenal game. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be even more chaotic than today, I fear. I'll see you for it next time. Take it easy. It's me, Jack. This has been an awful episode, hasn't it? It's been awful from a footballing point of view. We'll call it that. I'll see you next time. I'm out.